welcome to this video from Thrive Admin Services. I'm Mary Ann, the Microsoft Magician here at Thrive. In today's video, I'm going to show you very quickly how you can insert an image like your logo or an element of your logo into a header or footer in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. Okay, so in this screen, you can see I've opened up a, an Excel spreadsheet in the desktop version. Now, what you will notice is that I am working with uh, Microsoft Excel on the desktop in Microsoft 365 on a Mac. So some of my buttons may look a little different if you're working on a PC. It's also really important to note that this feature that I'm about to show you um, and being able to edit headers and footers in Excel is not something that you can do currently in uh, Excel on the web. So you do need to be working in your desktop version. So I've put in some, some base data just so that we've got something that would sit in the page so you can see what it would look like. So if I go to print this page at the moment, this is, um, and I hope you can see this pretty clearly. This is my print preview. So you can see I've got a white border and this is my text and I'm not showing any um, grid lines or anything. I just want you to see what it would look like at the moment. So we'll cancel that. So it's currently my page. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to change the view. So when you uh, first come in to Excel, you should have your home tab. And what we're going to do is jump into the page layout tab. And in the second, uh, sorry, in the view tab, I was working on something else before. So the first section will be blocked out. And then this section, these are the different types of views and it should be on normal. We're actually going to go to the page layout view. And what you can see now is it's showing you exactly how it will work on the page when you print it. And suddenly add header is available. So we're going to go up in here and we're going to add a header. Now in Microsoft Excel, the header is broken into three sections. There's a left section, a center section and a right section. So if I'm going to pop my logo in as a full logo, I would pop it on my first page. I'm going to pop it in the, the right hand side so it sits up the top here. And you can see when I've clicked in here on header, it's now opened my header and footer toolbar up here in Excel. Now is um, click on that header and footer and you can see I can do lots of things. So I can now, um, once I'm in there, this is my header, this is my footer. I can put a page number, I can put the number of pages, I can put the current date and time, put a file path and a file name. I can put the sheet name, which is this one down here. Um, so for example, if I put page number in, so these are all fields and it's going to keep adding them and adding them. What I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna remove all of those. We're going to this one, which is picture. So if I click on this, it's going to open up a, um, uh, find a window and I'm just going to go into my toolkit and branding and I'm looking for my logo so I'm going to do this one which is my 600 pixel logo I'm going to insert that and you can see it says and picture I can't see anything about it at the moment but what I can do then is I can go to the once you put a picture in we're going to format that picture and it's going to open up all of my um, information here. So if I go into here, I can change the size. I can change it by width and height. I can make sure I always keep these two uh, ticked on about scaling the um, image. So I keep it locked with an aspect ratio so it doesn't squish and make your image look too thin or too fat. It keeps it all in proportion. Um, and we're working with percentages are all relative to the original picture size. So if I change this to, we make it 99, you'll see both of these change because they're working together and it's locked. So if I do that, and you can see that's my logo now appears. So in order to do that, what I need to do is click out of the header to view it, okay? And again, I go back in and we go into the format. And what I can do is I might say, I want it to be 15% of the original and you can see it's just disappeared up into that corner there. All right, so it does take a little bit of fiddling 
but I can now say, okay, I actually want it to be a little bit smaller again. Um, yep, perfect. It's completely outside any of those. So if I decided to put borders on that sort of thing, my logo won't be affected. Okay, so that's how I can put my whole logo into the header. Um, and now if I go over here, you'll see that on page two, it's got that again, it's still holding it at that 10%. So I'm going to see that on every page, which is something to also be aware of. So that's how I would insert my whole logo on um, into the header for um, an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so for this section, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we can insert an image um, like a watermark. So I've shown you this uh, for Microsoft Word documents using the header and footer. You can do the same in Excel. It just takes a little bit of fiddling to get it the way you want. So again, we're gonna to go to our um, view and we're gonna to go to our page layout. And up here in the header, so where before we popped out our picture was aligned to the right hand side and sat up here. I'm going to click in here to open my header and footer tab. We're gonna add picture will pop this one up and I'm actually going to use this solid element just so you can see the difference. So when we insert that and I go out, this is the whole image. So this is the exact sizing just inserted in the header so it's sitting behind my data. To play with it, what I need to do is make sure that it's, or to format it, I make sure that it's highlighted, header and footer tab and then this format picture one. And this gives me all of the dimensions and it also gives me the opportunity to crop and move it based on its alignment. So these three tabs are effectively where you want images aligned. It is aligned to the left, to the center, or to the right hand side. So to make this work as a watermark, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make it bigger. I want it to almost be as big as the page. Let me just uh, zoom this to 75% so you can just see almost the whole page. See the line at the bottom there? So we can see at the moment it's quite small. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to make this 200%, so it's twice as big and you can see it now fills that page. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to move this image all the way across so that all of this side is effectively dropped and I will have the right hand half of the image sitting against the left of the page. To do that, we take this other tab and we're going to crop it. And I'm going to crop it by 10 centimeters. I always like to start with 10 because it's a nice round number and I can adjust from there. Okay, so when we click out of it, you can see that's the way it's going to sit on my page. I can do some fine finessing now by selecting the header and I can now move it in point one so I could bring it further over if I just want those fond elements or I can drop it down and I can see how it sits. Sometimes I quite like these pieces in there as well. I can also look at it and go, oh, it's actually sitting a little low. So what I'm going to do is I can actually move it a little bit further up by cropping it to bring it up as well, all right? So that is how you can edit and, um, and amend that graphic element as a header image and a watermark type feature using Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching this video and I hope that it's been helpful for you to understand how you can access the header and footer in Microsoft Excel and how you can use images uh, to create watermarks and to add your logo. If you found the video really useful, then I would love it if you can like it, share it with your colleagues, um, our and subscribe to our channel so that you know about the next video that comes out. If you are looking for more support with your Microsoft 365 subscription, then you can, after subscribing to our channel, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Pinterest. Just search for Thrive Admin Services. We post updates about any of our new content. We share really great resources, tools, tips, and blog posts across the entire Microsoft 365 uh, range. So that's 14 plus apps and programs that you have access to with your business subscription. If you are looking to get more bang for your buck from your Microsoft 365 subscription, then there are a couple of ways you can do that. You can join our free Facebook group, Microsoft Dynamos. We have monthly training sessions. It's a great place with other users where we're all learning about how we use it in our own businesses. You can get your questions answered, but you can also learn some really great tips and, and tricks there. You can become a member of Thriving with 365, which is Thrive's 
paid membership subscription um, and you get exclusive members only content. There's a, um, a monthly drop-in session where you can ask really specific and targeted questions about things that will make your experience with Microsoft 365 so much better. Um, and you also get access to me to answer your questions one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you can find information about Thriving with 365 on our website, thriveadmin.com. It's also where you'll find all of our latest blog posts and you'll also see our DIY templates and resources across the range able to help you get more bang for your buck from your subscription. If you are interested in um, finding out how I can help you in a more one-on-one, -on -one, uh, in a tailored service way, then get in touch. You can send me a message from the website, thriveadmin.com, or you can send me a direct message on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn um, under Thrive Admin Services. Thank you so much for your support. Um, and if you have something that you would be interested in me doing a future video on, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks.